Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has rolled out two new Insider Channel preview builds to the Dev and the Beta channels late last week. And for the Dev channel, that's build 26200.5710. And for the Beta channel, that would be build 26120.4741. Now, it comes as no surprise that most of these new features are rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs. And most of the new features all focused on AI, which seems to be Microsoft's main purpose and intent of late. But nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted, as we like to do on the channel. Now, first of all, Microsoft said that it's introducing a new describe image action in click to do to get detailed descriptions of images, charts, and graphs for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs. This feature, it says, was introduced for Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs in the previous beta channel flight. This feature is useful, Microsoft says, to get a quick overview of the visual content. And it's also noted that when you use the action for the first time, the required models are set up and the descriptions are generated locally on your device, making sure your sensitive data stays on your PC, according to Microsoft. And what we're looking at here is image description dialogue shown with text description of a graph. Now, I'm just going to mention the next one for the purpose of this video. Microsoft says it's enhancing digital accessibility with the ability to get detailed descriptions of images, charts, graphs in Narrator, which is obviously an accessibility feature. Microsoft mentions for blind and low vision users, many visuals remain inaccessible due to missing or inadequate alternative text. And that's why Narrator will now generate richer image descriptions once again for Copilot plus PCs. And Microsoft also mentions regarding this feature that the window also contains regenerate, like, dislike, and copy button that will be at the bottom of that window. And this next feature I actually posted on earlier today where Microsoft says that as part of its commitment to improving Windows performance, logs are now collected when your PC has experienced any slow or sluggish performance. Now this is all in regards to getting user feedback and improving the performance of our upcoming 25H2, which is currently being tested in the Dev Channel. But I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. It'll give you a little bit more information if you would be interested. And then Microsoft also says for click to do it's trying out a change that removes the search box in the top bar of click to do And just to mention another one, Microsoft says it's updating the lock screen widgets with widget suggestions to help you easily discover more widgets this feature can be enabled or disabled, thankfully, um, in the actual settings. And then the last new feature, just to mention for the purpose of this video, if we just head back to those images provided. It's also said that you can now visit the settings, privacy and security, text and image generation to see which third-party applications recently used generative AI models provided by Windows. Microsoft says this page gives you visibility into the specific apps leveraging local Windows provided generative AI models and allows you to control which apps are permitted to use them. And as mentioned guys, most if not all of these features are focusing on Copilot Plus PCs and AI, which is Microsoft's focus, like what I hate it. And over and above that, we get two fixes rolling out and then we get a bunch of known issues because this still is preview. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.